so the statelessness of statelessness is stateless. What does it mean to be with a state? <laughs> it's so funny how, or is it funny? I don't know. Everyone has been programmed here to believe in state, but never thought to question what is a state. Everybody just takes it for granted. And they say, well, I'm in the state of this, or I'm in the state of that. State of Calif... Excuse me. The state of California, or the state of Washington, or the state, or the country, which is in turn also a state it's the same meaning country state nation as far as i understand it are synonymous when israel became a nation state country right okay so these ideologies i mean it's just an idea guys it doesn't exist in reality you're not physically located in an idea. It's good for communication purposes, like for traveling across the world or wherever, or even locally, to have counties or like towns and addresses for those towns to find your way to these places as a communication purpose. But for like legal purposes, legal, I'm, or even just saying that you're in it isn't uh, it's not entirely logical when you really think about it when you really get down to brass tacks a country state nation is just the incorporation of a of a, a, a local homegrown terrorist group that calls itself government and pretends it has absolute godlike authority over people because it's willing to use violence against people so much so that you could even suffer the loss of your existence here at the hands of one of these zealots that believe in the state so much and that you must obey the rules of this fiction. It's a religion, guys. It's a religion. Outside of the purposes of communication as to what location you're at on Earth, just for the purposes of location and expression of communication so that your people or whoever it is you want to meet can find the right place and meet at the right place. That's it. <laughs> the state is a complete illusion. Take it. Take uh, going into a court situation, for instance, let me give you a little bit of an imagination here. You go into court for a ticket or a crime or whatever it is they want to call it. Most often times there is no direct victim under your actions. It's just you violated our policy and now you're going to get you're going to pay for it. Okay? So you go in there and they say, "Is your name or are you this?" Actually, they actually state your name for the record. Okay. Anyways, the whole concept of this, oh, this whole place. Let's say you go in and you ask the judge just a couple questions. Say, hey, judge, I got a couple questions. Oh, okay. Ask a couple questions. That's fine. Is it your opinion or belief that if I'm physically located in the state, that the laws of the state apply to me and that you have jurisdiction through that. And they'll say yes. And you say, okay. Is it your belief or your opinion that we are located in the state right now? Well, yes. They will, yes, of course we are. Okay. So, for clarification purposes, you're saying that we are all physically located in the plaintiff. The plaintiff? We're physically located in the plaintiff? 
obviously the plaintiff <laughs> okay so you see what I'm saying obviously the plaintiff is not a geographic physical location it's actually a body politic or a DBA or a corporation that the this guy called pro se cutor prosecutor is using under color of law in fraud because he's brought a fictitious plaintiff claiming that you owe this fiction something for one that you're in the fiction for two this is all fraud and that the laws of the fiction apply to you for three and that he represents the fiction Four, this is this is all fraud. It's all a scam. The whole thing. Right? And um, there was another one. Oh, and then you're also denied due process where you're supposed to be able to face your accuser. But your accuser doesn't exist. They're trying to claim it's a geographic location as well as a plaintiff at the same time. And really... I mean, the dirt there, the ground there, the trees, that is not, that cannot be a plaintiff. By definition, a plaintiff is a natural or artificial person who institutes an action in his own name or in its own name. And in order to have a claim in this type of court situation, there must be the suffering of loss or damages where the rights were violated or uh, property was lost or, or damaged or person was lost or damaged or you know what I mean and I use the word person lightly I, I know you guys are gonna nitpick I'll oh, use that person I don't know the person is a corporate fiction it doesn't exist in reality either it's just something that they've all taught us to be and we know better yes I know I know so, to come back to the old beginning of my video here, is about statelessness. And if the logic is that the state does not exist, then we are all stateless. But how could we be stateless when we are in the state of being? That's like saying we don't exist. Oh, you're stateless. Uh, did you just say I don't exist, motherfucker? I'm standing right here. You're stateless. No, you're stateless. Your brain is stateless. You think that what exists does not exist. But what exists does exist. For non-existence has no room for what does exist. For non-existence is full of things that don't already exist. Uh, we're here, baby. We're here. We're not going anywhere for a while. Okay? So, one world, you and I, everybody across the world, all the people, we're all stateless, if you come to it. Like, as far as, like, the corporate states involved, the corporate government, the corporate, you know, nation, state, country concept, we are without that. But we are here. We're in a state of being. And uh, these bureaucrats are really obsolete. We don't really need them anymore. I mean, unless they're going to do good and stop being scumbags. But <sighs> I, ha I don't have much faith in that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, all the ladies, I've been single for a long time. So, anyways. <laughs> Probably be single for a lot longer. Who knows? Anyway, I want to impart some little bit of knowledge, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of just questioning things. All right? All right. Have a good day, and I hope to see you next time. Hopefully, I, I do some more videos soon. Just kind of keep in touch more. I'm really going through a huge transition in life, okay? So hang in there.